I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're always happy when the weeks roll by and we can gather together all over the world, some of you in tents and some of you in apartments. And we got letters this last week from a man who runs a truck, and it's just wonderful. Wherever you are, we can worship the Lord together. And today we're going to be thinking about how the Holy Spirit helps us and he's a, gives a pattern for our life and makes us so that we can honor the Lord and we can rejoice in life as we live it out. Well, we are reading from God, the Gospel of John today, chapter 16. And if you have your Bibles, we can turn to the 16th verse. And I know that some of you get all dressed up for church and, uh, and, uh, in this, and worshiping your, in your home. And you have your Bible. And sometimes I'll hear, let, get letters from people and they'll say, we held hands together. My husband and I held hands together. Now he's gone, and I'm still worshiping with you on that, on that service. So she has a lot of memories, good memories. And everything we do and everything we say is centered on the Word of God, the holy, wonderful, beautiful Word of God. And now Jesus is talking here in, in the 16th chapter of John, and he's going to go to the cross. It's just prior to the cross. And he tells them they're going to forsake him, and they're going to let him down. And they're going to have great sorrow, but he's going to come back afterwards, and they can rejoice. And he tells about a woman in travail, and the great sorrow, and then the joy when that child is there. And that's beginning with verse 16 on chapter 16. A little while, and you shall not, and he's talking to his disciples here, his followers. And a little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to my Father. Then said some of the disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us, A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me. And because I go to my Father. They said, Therefore, What is this that he saith? A little while, we cannot tell what he, what he saith. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him and, ha and uh, said unto them, Do you inquire among yourselves of what I said? A little while and you, sh you shall not see me, and again a little while and you shall see me. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye, ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy." A woman that when she is in travail hath sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she delivereth a child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that is a man-child is born into the world. And ye now know, therefore, you have sorrow. But I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. So we're going to pray, and today we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Saudi Arabia. I always remember the persecuted church. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful story. And you tell the disciples that you're going to go to the cross. You've told them that. You told them they're going to, you're going to be raised again. Uh, but they never really caught on to it, especially the resurrection. And so now you're telling them again, and you're telling them in so many words, that I'll be watching with you, and I'll be loving you, and I'll be there after that death and crucifixion. I'll be there. I'll live again and be with you forever. And dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that that's the message we can preach. There's always hope in Jesus. You are so wonderful, dear Lord, and you, you help us and you ne never let us down. And you know, there are so many that don't know you personally, and so we're just praying that as we have our service today, many will open their heart to you ask you to come in and take away their sins and be born again and have their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This is your service. And Lord, we do pray for the persecuted church today. And we know that many of them lost their homes, lost their churches, and some have lost their husbands. Some have lost their little children, have lost their parents, both parents. And oh, dear Lord, we just wish you would come in and, in and come and put an end to this thing. You could stop it in a moment, and yet, Lord, I know you're waiting for somebody, somebody else to come. You're giving them that chance, and there may be some today right now, Lord, and you're talk, talking to them, and you're telling them that you want to come into their heart. 
and, uh, and you're just waiting to give them time to come. We pray and multitudes will come and it'll come to the honor and glory of Jesus Christ. So bless us in this service, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.